Okay, so, so far we've been um, doing a variety of things and, you know, we've been able to go from a logic expression to a truth table. And then from there onto a logic circuit. So what we want to be able to do is to be able to move readily in any direction through these connections, okay, and be able to jump around between them as much as we want to and as much as we can. So um, there's no reason why if you have any one of those, you can't have all three of them. So. In this example, I've just sketched out a logic circuit, um, and now I want you to look at how we would go about um, first determining the expression and then the truth table from there. So I've got these three inputs, A, B, and C. So A goes in here, and I literally just follow it through, and so this becomes not A. And this is an AND gate, right, a 7408. So this expression becomes not A and B. And this is an AND gate again. And it's a 7408. Right? And so coming in, we have not A and B. Here we have C. So coming out, we have not A and B and C. So now if we want to make a logic expression for that, um, let's say that that output's called F. We would literally just write F equals not A and B and C, All right? And then the other piece of that would look, then we'd like to make a truth table for it. So we go A and B and C. And those are our inputs. Now we'd like to make our output F. So let's go through here and we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and we're looking for the place where that output is equal to not A. So not A means that A will be a zero, so it's one of these. And B is a one, so it's one of these two lines. And C is a one, so it's here. And everywhere else it is a zero. So that's our first example of how to take a logic circuit all the way to an expression and a truth table so we have all three in combination now. So now let's look at another problem. Alright, and here we have a three input, alright, and so again we have A coming in and here I have not A. And this is an AND gate, an 08 and that's B coming in. So this is not A and B. All right, then here we have C coming into that. So this one is now not A and B and C. And then this gate, all right, this input, if I trace it back, I jump over because that's, and then that becomes B. Here is C, this is not C. So this is B and not C. So these both are the AND gates, O8s. Okay, and this is an OR, the 7432. So we have not A or B and B and C or B and not C. So Z is equal to Alright, 
So now from there, I can make my truth table. So I'm just going to rewrite on my paper here for you the expression. Z is equal to not A and B and C or B and not C. And now I need to make a three input truth table, A, B, C. My output is Z. And so I need to put in a 1 everywhere these conditions are met. So let's look through where would I have not A and B and C. That would be this line, not A and B and C. So I put a 1 there. I'll just make a note by it so that you can remember why that is. And then I'm looking for B and not C. There's no A, so I don't care what A is. So I'm looking for B equals 1 and C equals 0. That would be here. And I'm here, 1, B, and not C. So this would be our truth table. So again, we've been able to get all three components from the 1. All right, now for our last problem, um, we have a little different circuit. So let's look at what it might look like. It is X and not x, and this is y. Here I have y coming into a not gate, and then I have not y. And then all the way down, I follow that, that's z. I'm sorry, that's x, excuse me. All right, so this one becomes x and not y. This one becomes not x and y. This is z. This is not x and y and z. So this is x and not y coming into here. So my final output, I'd labeled that a, becomes a equals not x and y and z, or x and not y. So now I'd like to make my truth table. So I'll rewrite my expression for you. And how many inputs do I have? Three. So I have the one output A. So back to making our three input truth table for the expression A equals not X and Y and Z or X and not Y. So I'm just filling in my truth table quickly. Alright, so the first thing is I want to look for not x and y and z. So not x, here's y, here's z, I put a 1 there. So that is not x and y and z. And then I'm going to find x and not y. So the x's are all down here. Here is not y, and the truth is, because there's no z term, I don't care what z is. So I put a 1 here and here, then I fill in zeros everywhere else, and that's my truth table. And to double check that, I could either do a digital logic board of my circuit or a multi-sim of my circuit and then save it.